Hello once again. Thanks for tuning in. Today we'll be having a look at stop motion. With stop motion, you can use a mobile phone, but today we'll be using an aperture light, a Joby light, Edochrome, and a shutter release cable, and some toys, as you can see, uh, those on the motorbike and the house there. And we're also going to use my Canon camera and also we will use a tripod and slider one so let's get started so now in this um edochrome app you have to set the poses one and two and set the stop motion uh, depending on the frames per second and the duration of play and you will um, capture the image with the app once you're on Final Cut Pro 10, you have to import all the pictures that you took previously. Uh, these pictures are in a sequence uh, from the animation. As I said before, you can use your um, phone or anything that is fixed in the tripod and take pictures sequentially. Okay, you have to highlight all the frames now and you want to set either one frame per second or two frames per second so let's start with one frame per second and you have to press ctrl d and then press one and then press enter that will give you one frame per second as you can see now that is one frame per second that just lasted uh for about a second really so if you want to change that to be a different frames per second, let's say two, you do again control plus D and then press two and then enter. And that will give you two of the pictures at two frames per second. So as you can see now, that gives you about two point something seconds. So now we've got the Let's, let's, let's make it larger so you can see it more clearly so we make it wider on the timeline so now we've got it there we want to highlight everything let's see and then we we'll probably have to make it a new compound clip so make it into one like, like just like one picture on there and let's add some effects to it so let's go to where the car crashed and we'll add sound of a car crashing and we'll have add a horn sound of a horn before the crash and so that, that's where the car should crash okay so we we'll drag Let's drag the crash sound we've got and put it right where we marked on the timeline. I'm just doing a rough, I'm not doing it perfectly, but I'm just doing a rough uh, example just to show you guys how to do it. Okay, and let's look for the, what's that, the start from the beginning, the sound of the motorbike starting so we've added that and then we'll try and find out where we want to cut it just before the crash we'll split the audio and then we'll delete the remaining so let's highlight that and then let's yeah and then click delete on the keyboard and that's gone so we can add something else let's add a horn just before the crash okay that's the audio clip that's for the horn trying to select it and drag it down so yeah something like that so you can now play it and you can now hear the effect happening okay so imagine we've finished that we have to export it so 
share it and uh, make it a master and then you'll be saved. And that's how it will look afterwards. We have another clip that we gonna show you. This is uh, where I used um, a cup and pencils. So let's drag the sequence of the pictures to the timeline. We do the same thing, control D and one and then press enter and basically the same thing. I'll I show you the end result as well. This is just a quick um, quick video just to show you how to do stop motion. It's very easy, very simple and I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Bye bye.